Our next thing is to, uh, you know, uh, create the content, but uh, let's, that's something that we'll take a look at it in the content builder. So, <clears throat> Okay, let's talk about the listed uh, difference between the listed and data, data extension for a while. So when should we use list and when should we use data extension? Because these are the two different data structures that we can use to store the subscriber information and we can use them to send the email. So list is generally used for very simple use cases, right? That um, if you don't want any uh, complex structure. So let's say we have only 10 or 15, you know, profile attributes and we have already created them once. And now, uh, whenever we have a new requirement, we just want to create a list and then the customer has got, you know, first and last time email address, that's it. And we want to send them the email. So we don't very have very complex structure. So in that case, we can use the list. And if we have, you know, less subscribers, then we can use um if you want simplicity because uh, we just have to provide a name of the list and then it will be created right uh and all the list will have same set of attributes so we have more simplicity as compared to data extensions in data extensions we can have different different uh a set of attributes we can have uh you know we have to create all the fields from the scratch you know um and uh, we can have data retention policy. We can have the relationship between two data extensions that we will talk about. So there could be many things. So if we have a simple use case, you know, uh, where we just need to send them the email uh, and we have you know, less attributes that we can use the list. Uh, data extension is used. If we have a large data set, or if you have multiple subscriber attributes, if you want a more flexible subscription model, or if you want faster import speeds, then we can use the data extension. So as we move ahead, we will understand more differences between the list and data extension. But for now, these are the very basic differences between them. Um, and uh, when we'll talk about the automation and journey builder, you will understand more differences. Uh, why should we use a data uh, list and why should we use a uh, data extension? But you will find that in most of the cases, you will be using data extension only. Uh, list is not generally used because the companies uh, which are using marketing cloud, you know, are generally having a more complex structure and uh, we have to use data extension sort of So there are multiple ways to send the email from marketing cloud. Uh, so one that we saw was the guided send that in which, you know, a wizard will open up and then uh, we have to just follow the step by like choosing the subscriber, choosing the email message and the send classification and these things, right? So that was one of the ways uh, that we can use to send the email, right? Similarly, we have multiple ways how we can send the email. So guided send is generally used for the, like it is used as a single send that uh, every time we need to send the communication, what we need to do, we need to, you know, click on the send button and then follow these steps again and again. So let's say tomorrow I want to send the email again. So again, I'll have to click on the send button, follow the, follow all the steps and then send the email. So, and it is generally used for the, like if we are sending um a promotional email or like one time send to all the customers so in that case i can use if i want to inform uh about something to the customers then i can use the guided send so what happens is <clears throat> so i think uh, now this uh, tool is updated so that is why we are not able to see the guided send so in the earlier version, the guided send was there and uh, this has been replaced by the send flow. So I think this is uh, updated recently. Uh, 
well but in the but in all the latest version you will find uh, this uh, send flow only so earlier we used to have this guided set where we used to get this wizard so now we this is called the send flow uh, it has you know they have just changed the ui but the concept is same right so it is also guiding us uh, in a, in a flow right so that is called that is why we call it a send flow so that was a guided send but that is now not available that was only available in the earlier versions now this has been replaced with the send flow in the uh, latest versions so in the send flow we need to select the subject line uh, select the send classification so we will talk about the send classification in detail in a while um, and then we have to choose the audience, the data extension that we need to choose. Uh, let's say. Okay. Um, and then here we have to choose a publication list. Either it could be all subscribers or either it could be any of the list that we have over here. Uh, so we'll keep it all subscribers from now and we'll click on the configure delivery so we want to send it immediately or schedule it um and next we have the send throttling which says that um like from which time to which time you want to send this like what of the delivery window and if you have let's say bulk send where we have let's say one lakh customers and we don't want to trigger one lakh customers in one go because it might impact our uh, ip reputation uh, because what happens that when we send the email and if the recipient email server let's say if it is a gmail or if it is a google server right so if you're sending one lakh email from one particular server like from one particular you know device then what what might happen that uh, the google might think that uh, these are the spam emails or maybe you know the, somebody is spamming us so what can we do that we can select the hourly threshold that in one hour it only should send let's say ten thousand emails so every hour uh so it will create let's say 10 batches for ten ten thousand and then uh, in uh, 10 hours it will complete all the one like emails uh next we can have uh, the review and send so once you have configured everything we can review we can review and everything looks good we can click on this button and then we can click on send button so this is just like the guided set it is just that the ui has changed otherwise otherwise it is just the same uh next we have the test set so test send is used to uh, is used for our internal purposes, right? As the name said, test send it means we are sending this email for the testing purpose. Now, what we are testing, we are testing. Okay, this email looks good on my uh, in my uh, marketing cloud tool or in the preview, but uh, I want to check that uh, what it looks like on my email, uh, email client or what it looks like on my different browsers and devices. So sometimes let's say we have designed this all email messages. Uh, I mean, uh, we have designed this email message with all the images, content blocks, text and everything. Now it might happen. The alignment is not proper on my uh, Gmail or Outlook, or maybe uh, the button color is not coming uh, as expected, or maybe, you know, there are some uh, rendering issues or something like that. So generally it happens and we need to fix it so if you want to test it how we can do that that is called a test set so we'll click on the preview and test over here so now when we come to this preview and test we have got all these three different options so first tab is called subscriber preview and attribute so in order to see the preview that uh, for a particular subscriber um what the email looks like so what we need to do we need to click on this folder icon and choose a subscriber 
uh, let me add some personalization so that you can see uh, more things over here. We'll talk the personalization in the next session, but for now, let me just add it. The name I don't think. So it is showing the uh, email address, right? So let me change it to the, okay, let's keep it email address only for now. So we have to click on this folder icon and then we have to choose a subscriber from uh, you know, the data extension or the list so that we can see that uh, what this email looks like for this particular subscriber. When we click on the next, like uh, this arrow icon, then it will show me the preview for this particular subscriber. Okay, so you must have seen that whenever we, you know, develop an email, let's say for um, to target the different different subscriber sites, and we want to personalize the email with the uh, first name and last name, or maybe if you are sending this to uh, our Amazon customers containing their, um, let's say, order delivery, right? That uh, order confirmation that okay, your order has been confirmed, and this is the order number. So what will happen, let's say we have stored the order number over here and it will show that, okay, your order number is this. Now for each and every subscriber, the preview will change, right? So we want to see that, uh, okay, if it is for different subscriber, if um, uh, the content looks good or not. So here we can see the preview, but I don't know that uh, if the same will appear in my mobile device and the browser or not. This is looking good in my preview only. So if I want to test it out, how I can do that? I mean, uh, we can send it or using a normal send, like send floor, the guided send also. But uh, that is, you know, bit a lengthy process that we have to choose audience, this and that and everything. So test send is a bit faster way to send the emails. How we can do it, we just need to select a preview. And then uh, here we have to type in the email address. So let me take this email address. Now what will happen that the email will be sent to this particular email address. And then we have to send the, select the classification. And click on send button. So what will happen? The email will be sent to this particular email address. But here the problem is that we can only type up to five email addresses, but let's say if we have more than five email addresses, then what we can do, we can use the test chat extension. Now, uh, I'll have to click on the select button to choose the test chat extension. So it will give me the list of recipients to whom I want to target. Now, if I'll expand this folder and I'll click on the 00 folder. But as you can see, I'm not able to see any data extension to select. Why? because I have not made the data extension as a testable data extension. So let me go to here. So when we were creating the data extension, we talked about two checkboxes. One is that is sendable and another one was is testable. So if we'll make it sendable, then it will you, it will be available for the sending. And if we'll make it testable, then it will be used for the testing purpose. So so now use for testing is false or no. So we'll have to check this checkbox. Click on save button. Okay, I'll come back over here again. I'll click this. Okay, now this uh, data extension is visible for the selection. Why? Because now we have made this as, as testable. So if you have, let's say 50 subscribers, uh, 50, we have, let's say a team of 10 developers and we want to test it out. So what we can do, we can choose this data extension and that it will be sent to all 10 or different subscribers. So now if you'll click on uh, we can also remove this. 
okay because we have ordered choose only data extension over here now it says that uh total how many recipients we have three recipients and to each recipient one email will go so total three settings so if you have more than five recipients we can um, go ahead with the test data extension or if you want to manually type we can manually type over here as well so test sense helps us uh, to test the content in the email message that how it looks like uh, what it looks like on the different email clients <clears throat> so whenever we send the email using the test send so this is the email address uh, to which the email is sent right this is the final destination but from a marketing cloud perspective or from a marketing cloud point of view we are sending this email to the subscriber that we have selected over here so when we go to the tracking tab over here we will see that the email has been sent to this particular we'll talk about the tracking in detail in a while but uh, for now so we will have to go to test sending emails Okay, both the email addresses are same for now, but in case, let's say we have a different email address over here, but it will generate the tracking report for this particular thing only. 